I think we've gotten past the point of calling Chira a female sport. One, One two, three, three headers! Here's the shoes. <laughs> hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title, this week's video is going to be my life as a college cheerleader. Now, I've been requested to do this video plenty of times, not necessarily by you guys, but like my friends and family. Like, everyone says I should always make a video about cheerleading. And I never got around to it. I didn't really know how I wanted to do it. There was two routes I wanted to go with making a video like this. I either wanted to do the day in my life type of thing, but my life as a cheerleader isn't really that lively. <laughs> Most of the time I just go to school and then go to practice and then maybe a game or two. You've already seen me go to school, so I feel like I just got out of the shower, don't mind that. <laughs> You've already seen what I do academically, so if I were to just make a video about me going to practice, it wouldn't be that long of a video, I guess. The second route I was thinking about was just doing a sit down video, explaining my experience as a cheerleader. But kind of like the day in my life, I haven't really been cheering for that long, so I can't really make a length, like a properly length video <laughs> on my experience as a cheerleader. So what did I do? I came to the decision to combine the two, and that's exactly what this video is. Today's video is gonna consist of me talking about my experience as a cheerleader, and then in vlog style, I'm gonna actually be showing you what I actually do. Before we get on to the video, make sure to like and subscribe, comment down below what videos you wanna see next, turn on post notifications so that you see whenever I do post, and follow me on social media, links will be in the description box down below. That's it for now guys, so let's just get on to the video. Okay, so like I said, I haven't really been cheering for that long. I started cheering last year around like December that time. I missed the first round of trots for my school's team, but they were having a second round in like Christmas time, like before break. A friend of mine who was already on the cheer team, we were in a play here at Stetson and she was telling me that I should do it. Cause I've always wanted to do cheer. I didn't do it back in high school because it didn't look appealing to me as a male cheerleader. I had like a friend on the cheer team and what I saw him do at games and stuff wasn't really like, it didn't jump out to me. Like it didn't look exciting. So I was like, I'm not paying $500 in um, team fees just to, go team, like I'm not doing that. The reason why I ended up going to the tryouts was because I figured if I don't do it now, I'm not gonna do it ever. So I go to the tryouts and I make the team, obviously. Um, I found out that day. I was very excited to join the team. I was looking up like how to tumble, how to like cheer properly, like other people's experience being a cheerleader. Around that time, I think that's when like the Netflix show Cheer came out. So like I was really excited about that. But when I actually joined the team, <laughs> it was not like that. Well, at least not for me. I think I kind of got my hopes up a little bit. I was watching the show and I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna get to do all this stuff, throw people in the air and like do all these flips and stuff. And it just, it wasn't that. And in no way, shape or form am I saying like, I hate being a cheerleader. Like I absolutely love cheering, but there are some aspects as a male cheerleader that I don't particularly lean care for. I think we've gotten past the point of calling cheer a female sport. I know it is, mostly female dominated, but like we're all oh, very much aware that there are male cheerleaders. I still think that the sport itself hasn't fully adapted to the idea of male cheerleaders. And I'll explain what I mean. In my personal experience, there are times where I feel completely bored. I feel like being a male in cheer, you're kind of like a separate entity. I feel like guys are kind of really just there for muscle and not necessarily to bring spirit. The reason I feel this way is because, at least in my cheer team, guys don't dance, guys don't do the actual cheers. It gets very discouraging sometimes to just sit there and... I feel like it's kind of unfair in a sense because it's like we're cheerleaders too, so why aren't we doing what the females are doing, you know? It's like we're one team, but when it comes to the actual cheerleading, guys are kind of pushed off to the side. And like I said, in no way, shape or form am I like hating on my team, I love my team. I just think this is like a, this is just an issue I see in school cheer just overall. I definitely have improved since starting cheer, but I feel like I've come a long way as a cheerleader. Going back to what I was saying earlier, it's kind of hard as a male cheerleader in particular. You try so hard and you go to the gym and your work isn't really like, you're not really allowed to show your progress. Not saying like guys aren't allowed to do dances or cheers. It sometimes feels like 
it's discouraged. There's nothing in the cheer rule book that says guys can't do what the girls can do, but it's also like, sometimes it feels like they don't want you to. It's always been weird to me, which is one of the reasons why I was avoiding cheer. I feel like I've just been talking about the negative parts of my experience, so let me talk about the good things. Obviously, I've gained so many friends, so many close friends from this sport. It's made me a better athlete overall, honestly. It's forced me to push myself beyond what I thought I was able to do. And it's just nice to be able to have something to root for, you know? At its base value, cheerleading is, you are leading the cheers, you know? There's obviously more that comes along with it, but at its base value, your job is to ensure that you're hyping up the crowd and hyping up whatever team you're cheering for. And it's really fun to like go to a game and you get to kind of see them like play better because of you, you know? That's always a nice feeling. All in all, I'm grateful and I'm happy that I made that choice to try out cheer. Cheer has just been a very fun experience so far and I'm really excited to see like where I take it, where it takes me, what happens with this. And yeah. So that's about it for my cheering experience thus far. Let's get on to this vlog, shall we? Yes, let's go. <laughs> okay, y'all, so the first thing I usually do over the week is go to the ATC. ATC is the athletic training center. That's where all the athletes on campus go to train. <laughs> they were kind of like, reserving it for like basketball and football players so cheerleading we haven't gotten to go this year yet today is the first day like we're going obviously this is because of covid so we just have to deal with it it's like 12 50 right now and i have to be there at one that's the building over there isn't it nice <laughs> I am tired. <laughs> I couldn't really film working out because they don't want us to be like distracted. They want to. They want us to focus on like actually working out, which I can appreciate. Trust me when I say I am tired. I was sweating through my mask. I look. I look drenched. These workouts, they don't play. Our fitness trainers, they do not play with us. Right now, I have to head back to my dorm because I have a class that started two minutes ago. I'll probably see you when I'm actually going to practice tonight. So stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> she goes. Tell the people that's that. What is that? <laughs> it's a camera. Oh, that's professional. That looks expensive. Are we stunting today? They do kind of have that. I think so. Period. Me? Cool. What's up, vlog? <laughs> <laughs> it was nice knowing you. I'm going to group two. Our favorite time of practice. How was practice? I thought it was great. How was it? I died five times. But you got resurrected. Yes. How was it? It was great. The first time stunting. No, it is not. In four months? Yeah. First time in four months. Let in me four finish. months. It's my blog. <laughs> on three. One, One, two, two three, three headers. All right, guys, so that is it for practice numero uno. I hate that I just said that. Anyways, I am headed to my second cheer practice of the day. I am on a competition team or an all-star team outside of the team at Stetson. At Stetson, we obviously cheer for our school. The team I'm on is called Majesty. It's an open level four team. I've never been on an all-star team before. As you already know, I haven't really been cheering for that long, so the fact that I get to do it and still compete is 
great because I've always wanted to do that. I hope they allow me to film. They know I have a YouTube channel, but I'm also running late because obviously I have school cheer and then um, all-star cheer. Because I get a scholarship at school, my school team is my top priority or has to be. I don't want to be late to my all-star practice and also be a distraction like with my camera and all that. If I don't get to film tonight, I'll film it on Thursday because if I don't film it tonight, I'll film it on Thursday because we don't have cheer practice at school then so it won't be it will, it'll be less of a distraction because I'm not running late hey y'all I was gonna film at elite I really was but it has just come to my attention that it's like discouraged to put your routine videos on social media like before the season's over so I'm not gonna be doing that I mean I'll show you a little clip but I can't really show you much more than that Sorry. I will put Stetson and Elite's um, like Instagram information in my bio so you can like check them out and you know see what we're about. <laughs> that rhyme, they got bars. Anyways, until the season's over, I can't really show you like a whole whole lot for that. Sorry. But the vlog portion of this video still isn't over. I still have to show you what we do at games. So let's get on with that. So here's the OOTD. This is my Stetson shoe uniform. You can't see the shoes, but. Here's the shoes. Yes, go team. <laughs> hey y'all, so it's game day. Don't mind my hair looking a mess. I didn't have time to do it, but I'll do it when I get to the locker room. The game starts at three. It's a little past 2.45 and I'm about to be right on time. Everyone. I got a clear one, buddy. No. She goes here. That's why she ugly, y'all. Are we recording getting ready? Hmm. Should I pretend? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> this mask smells so strongly of laundry detergent that I'm literally gonna start crying. Perfect way to get high. I'm back from the game. We won. I think it was 75 to 66. Something like that. That is it for the vlog, guys. That is a normal week in my life as a cheerleader. I hope you enjoyed. I really do. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed it. My cheerleaders out there. If you're a cheerleader and you like identify with anything that I've said in this video, uh, let me know. Let me know what you disagree with, what you agree with. Um, and let's have a conversation. For my teammates watching this, I love you guys. Thank you for letting me take videos of you in practice. I appreciate it. <laughs> Giving me content, baby, content. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below what videos you want to see next. Turn on post notifications so that you see whenever I do post. And follow me on social media. Links will be in the description box down below. I love you guys. Again, thank you so much for watching. Till next time, and I will see you later. Bye, guys.